Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Jesse. Today I'm making something delicious. But before I forget, I hope you guys have been watching my YouTube videos and checking out my Instagram and my Facebook. Like I say, always remember to comment. Suggestions, questions are very, very welcome. Okay? Today I'm making a southern favorite and a dish I like myself. Let's go. Hey guys, here is my spread of ingredients. Like always, can you guess what I'm making? First of all, we have our catfish. So this, I have one catfish here, and it's going to be part of our protein for today. I have my smoked, dried, and washed fish. So I deboned it, um, removed the stick that holds it together, and then I washed it, and it's ready for use. I have my pepper mix, so my different peppers were blended to make this. I have my banga spice. Now this is used to make the soup I'm making. Um, it's a blend of different spices, and if you ask in the market, you can get it. Um, they can get it for you. I have my dried pepper, grounded dried pepper. I have my stock cubes. My African nutmeg, a bit of some, a few scent leaves, just roughly chopped. I have my ginger garlic paste. I have my crayfish. I have also my salt. And then here I have my smoked prawns. So these are my prawns that were smoked when I washed them, and they make a very good eat along with any soup you're making. I have my assorted meat, so I have my plomo, my um, my beef, my shaki, everything in here, and I've seasoned and boiled it with a bit of the stock in. And I have my stock fish. Now, stock fish, it's basically dried um, fish, and there's hardly any southern soup that you won't find stock fish in. They, we add it just to add some flavor, add some depth, and gradually make it delicious. And finally, I have my palm kernel juice. So, this is gotten from the palm kernel, and this is very nutritious. It's very good for your skin and your hair health. It has vitamin A, which means it's good for your eyes. It's all around very nutritious. And we got to this point, we started from the palm kernel, so it's a very small seed around this big. And then we boiled, got a bunch of them and then we boiled them to soften them and then we mashed them in the pestle and mortar or in the um, blender but the can scratch when you're doing that. We mashed them and extracted the juice and I, we added a bit of water so that's how we got to this point. And guess what we're making today? We are making some very delicious banga soup and it's going to be absolutely amazing. Let's get cooking. Okay guys, we have our hot pot over here and it's time to start cooking. So I have my cowbell over here and we're going to tip that into the pot. So yeah. Put that in. Okay. And now along with the, um, the juice, we're going to put in our stock fish. The stock fish is normally very hard and it needs to boil a lot. It needs the most time out of all the ingredients. So it's boiling at this point. So we're going to stir this lightly. 
cover it up and leave it for five minutes until it's boiling. Okay, so it's boiling. It's been five minutes, it's boiling, and now it's time to get on with most of the ingredients. So now we put in our crayfish, our ginger garlic mix, and our African nutmeg that we crushed. So I'll give that a quick stir. And this is already starting to smell like amazing. Like you can literally you can smell the smell of oil. Oh, it reminds me of the last time my grandmother did this. It was absolutely delicious. Anyway, my two stock cubes in. My pinch of salt. I won't put too much because later on there will be some broth. Just a little. In that food. I have my pepper, my dried pepper. And also my pepper paste because we like it spicy over here. Okay. Turn it in. Oh yes. Blending together perfectly. Okay, next, we throw in our dried stuffed fish, um, our dried smoked fish, along with our banga spice and our um, gold smoked prawns. Okay. That should be the last of it. Stir this in. And let that boil for another five minutes. guys so it's boiling away and it smells like heaven in here so now we put in our assorted meat in goes with in it goes with the broth we turn this for that turn and before I put in my catfish. I would like to just taste to make sure the salt and the seasoning is in order. Yes. Perfectly seasoned, just the right amount of pepper. It's ready to put in the fish. So, we have the final ingredients of the almost final ingredient. We're going to drop the fish in carefully. And after we put the fish in, we won't stir because we don't want the fish to break. So in it goes. And the tail finally. So we cover this and we cook it for about 10 minutes until the catfish is cooked. Okay, it's ready. Oh, look at that. And just finally, we sprinkle it with scent leaves. Um, actually, people use another leaf. That's a very weird name. I'll try Belletier. Tell me if I got it right. Okay, so they use that leaf 
for this, but we didn't have any of that, so we're using the same thing. And just turn it as this soup is bangalicious, like it's ready to go. So, stir it a little. Et voilà, my banga soup is ready to go. So we have our banga soup plated and ready to go. I served along with some starch. So starch is um, a swallow eaten in the south, and it's very nice. So I am told, and along with a glass of water, and to help me taste this very delicious meal, this absolutely delicious meal, I have a very special friend. So he's a comedian an actor, a content creator, and the one and only professor of comedy. Please help me welcome MC Abi! Woo! Yeah. Oh, God. oh yeah. Oh my gosh! The good news! Whoops! This is full, full yellow, yellow, you know? Yeah. Very colorful. Very Mm, my goodness, more, more stuff now. Oh yeah, so this is a banga. Yeah, I know banga. Yes, uh, yeah, stash. Stash. Yeah. <laughs> my god, this is fresh fish banga soup. Yes. With uh, catfish. Okay, it's catfish. And yeah, with shrimps mm. and some uh, the perfecta behavior, some obstacles in the ministry. <laughs> so you did this thing in a very how many seconds did you take you around this thing? Not seconds, minutes of it. And I mean seconds for fishing me, 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 second fish hours, second means days. Yeah. So how many seconds here? Yeah. So about an hour, thirty minutes. About an hour, thirty minutes. Which I'm switching from English. Yeah. 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 Because it's banger and banger and stash. The switch. You understand? Yeah. You have to form and then add. Ah, jump five. To my first shop now. Yeah. Good, ladies and gentlemen. I want to testify because if you don't testify, you cannot glorify. <laughs> Are you with me? Yeah. I will uvukubeti. Say uvukubeti. Yeah, I'm a prof, so I will give you my, my grandma. Say, Uvu Kuvet. Uvu Yeah, just be saying, say, LS Central 11 Bait. Please eat the food. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, God. Viewers, watch me and then treat myself. This is the start. It's the way you cut stuff. Mm -hmm. You don't cut as you are cutting the band, you, you, will, you will strangle it in the middle. Strangle it. And when you press it, you take it like this. Oh, my God. See? See things, watch me now. Watch me weep. Mm. Mm. Oh. What do you think? I'm not thinking right now. <laughs> oh! Everything in the right proportion. Mm. Oh! You know that some people they use, they use rice to cook salt. Mm, so we use salt to cook rice, but you see this one, everything is right. I can feel, I can feel the spice, I can taste, and I can, I can just everything just aligning. Everything, everything is just, it just sank. This is, this is a wonderful meal, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, forget about it. I, I used to be a cook. Oh, yeah. used to. Yeah, but sometimes when I boil water, you sent it like fried egg. Huh? Yeah, I used to be that good, but uh, I've changed. I, I can't do it that much anymore. Wow. But seeing you do this, Jesse? Speaking this of is, food, mm. what's a food you, you can do without like you can wash your hands clean? Or... Food that I say I don't I don't mean bother. Mm -hmm. Maybe pop. Oh, yeah, my man. Mm, yes, pop. Uh, uh, right. mm -hmm. But this was I break my fast. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh well, he obviously likes it. Don't forget to mm -hmm. subscribe and like this video. Please do. And follow me on Instagram cooking with Jesse One. And on my Facebook cooking is just now. Before we head into the ending, mm -hmm. I have uh, a special present for you. Oh yeah, I don't know why this one is more important than you are doing. Ah, yeah. how could you say that about your own custom made ah. cooking with Jesse with Ah, Are you for real? Let me wait. Let me wait. Why are you eating your cup? Uh. Ah. <laughs> 
fantastic. But it's amazing. Amazing. Color portrait. Wow. Color treated. It's an event treated. Wow. This is a touch of um cestious, vestious, hostious. Ah yes. You say this food is wow. Yes, when, you can, when you don't have words to say. You can just say just that. Wish, mm, say I feel very you're good. Wow. Well, Love just say this. I love this. You know I mean, this is this is good. I celebrate the gifts of all of my life. No, no, I can't go that. Um, people like you are still um, existing. They have the mindset of uh, ensuring that we are not fed up. Mm. Okay. You cannot be fed up when you are eating this kind of food. How can you be fed up? No. If I start my fast by six o'clock and I'm to fast all day. And you mistakenly prepare this food for me, and I perceive even the Lord will give me chance. My son, go and eat. I've heard your cry. Go and eat. You feel me? Oh, yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Anyway, thank you very much. Thank you very much okay. for coming. Mm -hmm. This is where we say it's a wrap mm -hmm. for this episode of Cooking with Jesse. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Mm -hmm. I'll see you next time for another beautiful episode of Cooking with Jesse. Yes. Bye -bye. We love you. We love you very well. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> <laughs>